Hello everyone, welcome to this new amazing video tutorial. So today, in this video tutorial, I'll show you that how you can actually add a direct buy now button to your WooCommerce product page, okay? So simply uh, go to your WordPress dashboard. You can see that I have already logged in here. And from here, click on plugins and add a new plugin. Click on add new and search for buy now button, okay? And from here, install this plugin by WP is my life. Okay, this plugin already have 6,000 plus active install. So click on install now. And then click on activate. All right, you can see that it says plugin activated. And if I go to the front end and reload the page, you can see that we have a beautiful looking buy now button here. If I click on buy now, a new pop-up will be open here and you can see that the user can easily uh, fill up their billing details from here. They don't have to visit the checkout page, okay? They can do everything from here and they can place the order by clicking here. It's a really, really cool feature. They don't have to visit in the ch um, checkout page, which is really boring, okay? So where is the settings related to this buy now button? If I simply click on WooCommerce and from WooCommerce if I click on settings simply just uh, close this and from here click on settings and from here if I click on buy now okay and here you can see that uh, default this is checked okay make sure to check this and you can see that uh, we can redirect you it uh, the user to the checkout page or we want to use the pop-up by default the pop-up is selected I want to use the pop-up okay and we also have this option here I don't like this option okay because pop-up is really really amazing and w um, if you want to change the button position you can change it from here uh, by default uh, this is selected as before add to cart button but if I want to uh, replace this button uh, with uh, the add to cart button, then simply select this replace add to cart button, okay? And click on save changes and go to the front end and reload this page. And you can see that the add to cart page, uh, add to cart button gone. The user will have to click on buy now, okay? So it's a really cool feature. And from here, you can change the position into after add to cart button and click on save changes and let's reload this again all right you can see that right now it uh, this looks really nice and if i scroll down you can see that uh, we have uh, two more options here okay you can um, play around these options but i'm not going to show you okay and uh, what title you want to see in your button i want to see here purchase P E R now okay or order now you can uh, give any title you want and then click on save changes and then simply reload the page all right you can see that the button text changed if I add here order now then that will be also really great and then click on save changes and then reload this all right so this is really great and if you simply check this and click on save changes and this will actually reset cart before buy now okay suppose i have add two item in uh, i have add three items in my cart you can see that i have three items okay in my cart and if i go back again and then click on order now right here the code will be empty okay click on order now I hope the code will be empty okay you can see that here it looks actually if I resend this actually you can see that the product disappears from the code okay I hope that you have understand so 
that's all for today see you in the next video and i hope that this video is really helpful for you and if you like this video then don't forget to share and subscribe our channel and click the bell button of the subscribe button so see you in the next video goodbye